it's Angel. Earlier today I made a big batch of boba and I am going to follow up in this video with a taro smoothie using fresh taro root. Now if you haven't had taro root before, it kind of has the texture of sweet potato. It does not taste like a sweet potato, but it's really good. If you've had taro drinks at bubble tea shops, they typically use powdered taro, which is kind of an artificial flavoring. But this is fresh taro root, which we are going to use in a smoothie, and it's going to be really delicious. So with that, let's get started in preparing our taro. So the first thing we'll need is one taro root. We actually only need one one inch cube for each taro smoothie. So I'm just gonna start by cutting the taro into one inch cubes. And then we'll wanna trim off the outer layer of the taro. Just gonna go ahead and cut that off. The next thing I want to do is cut it into approximately one inch cubes. So this is a good size here, also a good size here. Now the next thing we want to do is we'll need to boil our taro. I've gone ahead and rinsed our one inch cubes and I'm just gonna put these in a pot of boiling water. We'll want to boil for about 15 to 20 minutes until the taro is soft and you can poke your chopsticks through them. Fifteen to twenty minutes later, check to see if your taro is done. Once they're soft, remove and let them cool completely before using. Feel free to chill them in a bath of ice water if you want to use them right away. So we don't have to wait. I have some taro that I cooked yesterday and I'm just going to use one one inch cube. Put that into our smoothie mixer. I'm using a Vitamix. We will also need one and a half tablespoons to two tablespoons of cane sugar. Feel free to adjust. quarter cup of water. We'll also need a quarter cup of milk. One cup of ice. And finally, I've got half a tablespoon of non-dairy creamer. I'm using coffee meat. Okay, now it is ready to blend. Make sure that's on tight. Okay. I'm just going to do a quick taste test. Now I'm going to assemble my drink. I've got our boba, which we made earlier. I'm going to do a few scoops. Okay, let's do two more scoops. I love boba, so the one over here. Perfect. And then just add in our smoothie mixture. Grab a spatula. As always, whipped cream. And the straw. See? So this is how you make taro bubble tea smoothie using real taro. It's really delicious. I hope you guys have a chance to try this. Please let me know how you like this in the comments below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.